Hello again, rolling security guards. Do you know what sucks? Playing this mission with less than 3k health on Inferno, but we are going to find a way, by golly, with our underpowered weapons and all. Uh, for, for this mission, uh, what we chose to take was two stampedes. I have a sniper rifle, which is woefully underpowered. It's 2,000 damage a shot or something, I think. And he has a healing gun, the Reverser X. So right at the start, I'm going to grab the uh, rangers in front of me, and we are going to roll straight back and shoot the stampedes as much as we can until we get to the back of the map. And then once we get along the back of the map, we're going to move to the right side. So right at the start, I shoot a couple stampedes, and uh, and then I switch into sniping these drones, because these drones are absolutely terrible on Inferno with our health. And uh, he keeps shooting the, uh, the uh, stampede. And it's important for us to get... Uh, to the far back of the map and the far right side of the map because there's more NPCs that spawn over there. So right now there's NPCs up front that are taking the uh, all the uh, aggro of the enemies and we're just trying to stampede the enemies uh, in front of us. Well, he, at least he is and I'm just going to move to sniping mode here. Unfortunately I don't have a sniper that one shots the drones so that kind of makes it rough. As far as our vehicles we both have helicopters. It uh, doesn't really matter what helicopter, just ones that are single pilot helicopters. So now we get to the edge of the map here, and uh, we're going to try and heal up a little bit, and uh, just try and survive as we go down now the other edge of the map. So we, we pretty much make like a U-shape. We go back, right, and then forward. And uh, what we're trying to do now is to move towards the, the enemies, or the NPCs that spawned here on the right side. They went forward and started engaging the enemy. So we're just going to try now and um, move past these frogs, because there's, there's some frogs here that are um, that are spawned as well that we have to deal with. But it's important we don't kill all those frogs because when you kill, when you leave uh, two frogs left, that's when the next phase starts. So uh, we want to make sure not to do that. So now we're going to move backwards and just keep sniping the rest of the drones, the rest of the spiders, and we're going to try not to kill the frogs. Actually, we're going to try and I'm going to try and snipe their legs out once in a while to knock them down. But uh, we're trying to find a good opportunity to throw our helicopters uh, because we had them a long time ago, but we don't want to get them destroyed. Because actually, uh, if you didn't know, the the uh, frogs and the cosmonauts will actually uh, will actually attack your vehicles now. They'll if their their vehicles in front of in front of them, uh, they'll just stand there and kill it, which is kind of cool. But anyway, so I'm just gonna try and snipe their legs out, and he's gonna try and in the corner uh, get his helicopter uh, thrown and up in the air. And I'm just gonna try and roll away from these guys, try and survive as long as possible. Uh, it's it's a good thing that they're mortar frogs, honestly, because if they weren't. I think it'd be a lot tougher, but uh, there's some close calls here actually. Um, his helicopter it gets dropped down to 1,000 health, and uh, mine is I threw mine way back on the other side, so I'm about to come back to it later. But I'm just trying to survive. It gets kind of tough here towards the end here because I get hit, and uh, they're really fast. They really look like to chase you, so I decided to throw them through buildings or pull them through buildings. There I get hit there, almost die. Um, so now he's in, he's trying to get up in his helicopter, and uh, actually he's in his helicopter. So he's gonna fly over to the frogs and try and get their attention while I try and get away from the frogs. And uh, I'd say the the toughest part is the beginning. We uh, we actually didn't think we were gonna make it on Inferno. We almost uh, didn't even try it. But uh, as long as you're fast, like I said, roll backwards and fast to the right. Um, it's not too bad. Um, so now he has all the frogs' attention. He has to make sure not to get hit because he'll get his helicopter destroyed. So now I'm going to roll to my helicopter and uh, go up in the air as well. And we're going to go to the we're going to fly on top of the ship here in the middle for our next for the next phase here. So it's a good thing they actually all look at him. For some reason I don't know why why it's easy to grab their attention, but we did this quite a few times trying to beat it, and uh, they always were quick to follow the helicopter. Wait, anyway, so now we're going to fly together onto the middle ship here. And the weird EDF physics are going to kind of be an issue here. Um, like for the ship, when you land on that ship, you don't actually spin around with the ship as it spins. You actually you actually like stay in place and the, sh the ship spins underneath you, which is super weird. And uh, except when you die, of course, or your helicopter will, will spin around with it. But now we're going to land on top of here because this is a safe spot to land on the top of the ship here. And we're going to now try and snipe the frogs. Um, the reason we're going to be up here is because 
I can't find a way to, <laughs> to survive down there with two rangers. Yeah, it's pretty tough. So it's pretty safe up here because nothing is flying except red drones, and those will be an issue, but we'll deal with those later. So now I'm just going to try and get a good spot to actually see the frogs. Uh, I, I decided to go up on the nose, and the only way you can do that is you need to jump down here, and then once you see that spot that's raised, and it raises you up, then you can use that to jump onto that little lip there, and then you can get onto the top. So anyway, I'm going to go up top here, and he's going to try and get to the edge of the ship so that they'll follow him, and I'm just going to try and snipe him. And you do have to be careful, because whenever you shoot an enemy in this game, they'll start looking at you, so um, I have to make sure that they're not going to uh, shoot me when I shoot them. So now I'm just trying to do jump shots here, because it's hard to see them, but... I decided to actually change to shooting their arm instead of their head here in a moment just to be safer because I can I can knock his arm off and then I don't have to worry about it so like I said once there's two left then the next phase happens and that's it's very important for us to um, hide when the, when, the, when the next phase happens because there's red drones two red drones that come out and they're really rough so one more kill and then I think the next phase will happen here and it's not a big deal leaving those two left so now we're gonna head to this area here because it's the safest we found right in here just to hide from the red drones and the weird thing is he can't heal himself because the physics of this ship I don't understand it but it will not it's th it doesn't count as like a wall so if you walk up against the side of it and try and shoot the wall it doesn't bounce back if you try and shoot the ground it doesn't bounce back either so he's just gonna try and keep me alive and uh... and uh so that he can, uh, so I can always revive him if he dies. So now we're just going to try and be very cautious, conservative, and just try and peek out and shoot these red drones because these things can kill us uh, in one pass if the laser is fixed on us. But the nice thing is you actually can interrupt the laser if you ever shoot them when they're when they're getting hit. Now he dies, but and his body goes uh, falling around the outside, and <laughs> it's a good thing he doesn't fall off this lazy Susan thing because he'll come back around and then I'll be able to revive revive him then. But uh, kind of funny that we were hoping the whole time like he's not going to fall <laughs> because if he fell we had to restart this so now I revive him he didn't fall off good thing he's going to keep keep me healed and I'm going to keep trying to snipe these red drones and once you get past this part then it's pretty much smooth sailing of course you can always uh, you know use a wing diver or a fencer to do the same thing but we were trying to do a ranger tactic here be a little easier for them to stay up there but just just initially the 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 first part there's also queens down there actually there's three queen ants um, but they can't reach us up here so we're safe so we're just gonna kill these kill these drones he decides to stay up more in the top middle so that that way if he dies it's easier for me to revive him rather than being on the outside and maybe falling off and he's always making sure to um, heal me up as soon as I get hit because um, he can't heal himself, so I need to stay alive to revive him. I think he dies one more time, but I'm able to rev revive him before he gets away <laughs> gets away from me. So unfortunately, like I said, I have a bad sniper rifle because I don't have this thing leveled up, and this is the best thing I have. I think it's yeah the KFF 70, but mine only does 2,000 a shot, and it's only one a sh one shot a second, so a little difficult, but we get it done. So I think they're, yeah, there he dies there, but I'm able to get him because he's up top. But this is the best place we found that we could hide up here. There was a couple other spots on the ship, but it seemed like they weren't any safer. This seemed to be the best. And also this sniper, unfortunately, I have to lead my shots as well. There we go, I saw it break apart, so I knew it was almost dead. I wish they would have made it so it broke apart halfway, half health, instead of when it's almost dead but it's not a big deal. Alright, then I just finish this one off here, and then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up in my helicopter. So he's going to stay on this ship here, and I'm going to work my way back up top, being careful, of course, that nothing hits me. And then I'm going to jump up here and then get in my helicopter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly straight up, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want any enemies to follow me, so... If I hit the, the higher I'm up in the air, the less chance they'll see me or, or want to follow me over to the our ship. 
because what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually fly to that ship there and I'm going to take out these enemies or at least some of the enemies the key is you don't want to kill the small ants because if you kill any small ants then they'll respawn out of the ships and if it, an ant spawns out, respawns out of my ship then that ant's going to follow me and I don't want to have to deal with that so it's just better to try not to snipe anything that's small yet alright so I'm going to increase the speed here because this takes a while because my <laughs> sniper rifle is so bad it takes me I don't know like five minutes to kill one of these things it's absolutely ridiculous so I'm just going to try and snipe these, like I said, try not to snipe the small ones at all. And uh, just kill the queens and kill the kill the frogs as well. Because those are, probably those are the most threat, honestly. And then, once this is done, it's really not too bad. Um, I'll just, I'll just jump down, jump down below and uh, kill this ship here. And the last time I did it, I actually had a few ants that I killed accidentally. And, uh... So I had to deal with them every time the ship opened, but this time we we worked it out so we didn't have to worry about that, which was nice. I said to be very careful, try and shoot their wings, try and shoot high um, for them to uh, to not to not hit anything below it. Because I think it's two shots for my sniper to kill a, a gray ant anyway, so it's good. Even if I hit something, it's not going to kill it. All right, uh, I think one down, and then. But yeah, there is there is so many ants down there below him. We tried on the ground before. Um, we tried using uh, stampedes, tried using you know machine guns to s and shotguns to survive and try and get close to the ship. But it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough on Inferno. And also having to deal with three queen ants down there would be pretty rough as well. So now I, I call a new helicopter out. I don't really need to, but call a new one out and I'm going to fly down. The reason I'm going to take the helicopter is just in case, you know, I need to retreat or run away, but I don't have any issues. So, just going to come down here and shoot. I don't know why I landed on this building, but because <laughs> I jumped down and then I had to wind up stampeding that building to get that helicopter, but uh, now I just killed this ship here and I have no problem with any enemies coming after me takes quite a few openings because of my sniper, but... Alright, now I have to somehow kill this without killing myself. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm gonna fly over to the other one just because it's faster and kill that ship. And meanwhile, it is important, uh, if you have someone up there, up top there, uh, this game will kick you out of the room if you're idle for ten minutes. So you want to make sure that you're never idle for 10 minutes, you want to make sure to move your left analog, which is your feet, because if you move your right analog, I don't think that counts to uh, to uh, keep you from being idle, it's, it's moving your feet, you have to move around, so he has to make sure he's moving around a little bit here. So now I snipe this one, and then the last one's a little bit tough because you have to get pretty close to it to uh, kill it, so what I'm going to have to do is get close enough to where I can shoot the ship but also keep an eye out on the ants. Now it's important I kill some of these ants because um, they will come after me if I get too close. So <laughs> initially I had the idea, you know what, let's snipe these ants. Yeah, I don't think so. There's like, I don't know, looks like a hundred of them down there. That would take me so much, so much time. So now I'm trying to not kill him with the stampede. Um, the interesting thing is with the stampede when you upgrade its range, it actually shoots further. So, mine is very unupgraded, <laughs> if that's a word. So I have to actually get pretty close to kill some of these. But, but yeah, I'm just gonna do do as much uh, damage as I can and watch out for anyone that come after me. And uh, and then just get a little bit closer, inching closer and closer to try and snipe the ship out. And when it's about dead, he's gonna get in his helicopter, and I'll get in my helicopter, and we'll finish it off. Uh, finish it off that way. Oh, the ants, and then just collect collect the items at the end. But yeah, this was pretty fun to try and figure out. Um, initially, we used to use uh, snipers that shot through enemies, and that worked pretty good. But we didn't have good snipers, good stringers, or enemies, uh, or uh, a sniper that shot through enemies. So we had to do it this way instead. The stampede, it's pretty good. I think mine does 30,000 damage, uh, 31,000 damage shots. I think his was close to that as too, as well. 
but uh, our weapons aren't really that leveled. But yeah, this was a pretty fun strategy to figure out. Uh, it worked out pretty well. And uh, yeah, um, now we're just going to finish up, collect some items, leave one enemy, and and then finish it up. So uh, once again, thanks for watching. I plan on doing more of these more of these videos on Inferno. We're, we're going through Inferno right now, so uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, hopefully.